Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going in and doing a really simple abstract mic making page in my journal. This is what I do when I just have no idea what I'm doing, I'm not in the mood. I've been struggling a bit with my mental health recently, I've just I've had to force myself to go into the studio. I know I need to, to sort of release some of the stuff that's bubbling around in my head. So this is really late at night. I really had no ideas and I just need to put paint down on a page. So that's what I did. So I'm working in my old um, black Dina Wakely journal, which has the canvas pages in it. And I haven't used a canvas page for ages. So it was actually really good to go back in and remember how to do it basically so when you're using the canvas page it is really good to start off with a layer of gesso it helps the paint move around a little bit more on the page um, canvas is quite hungry it likes to eat your paint so if you've got your gesso on background it helps your other paints you don't have to put on as much and you can move it around a little bit easier I am working this page very wet on wet. I really haven't dried it off between, so that back layer is still very damp. It's still easy to move my paint around, and you can see I've painted onto my other page as well. You can see in the background I've got a little bit of mic making already, and that was just drawing my Stabilo oil pencil into the wet paint, um, just to make some marks. Now I'm just going in with my fingers and my paintbrush and adding some splashes of color. I started off quite dark, and um, I want to lighten it up a little bit. I had all these ideas and things weren't necessarily working the way I wanted them to. So this is um, a credit card or an old gift card that I've cut um, chunks out of just to make marks. So it's a really easy way to make a mark making tool. You can see I'm using the edges there to um, create really thin lines um, where it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. I've just gone in with my paintbrush to do that. So lots of ways to make marks either use your paintbrush like i did with the green use your fingers like i did with pinky white colors to use an old credit card and cut little bits out of it to make a tool to make artwork use your finger to make fingerprints and um, i was using just an uh, this the orange dots on there we're using the stabilo woody um, which is a really thick kids version of a stabilo oil pencil um, and again drawing into the wet paint but the good thing about that is that it's water activated like the stabilo oil pencil so it through the wet paint it still transfers which is really cool um, and that's the pencil I'm talking about there um, in purple so again drawing around some of it making those little cross marks adding some extra white I was just doing stuff to keep my hands busy and to keep my mind busy basically when I got to the end, I was just trying to dry it off. It was it took it took longer because I had a bit of paint on here by now. This is just a grey lead pencil, and I'm just scraping into the wet paint. I'm doing some mark making, seeing some loops down the bottom, writing into it, drawing some dots. There's nothing difficult about the marks I'm making, and I'm really not thinking about where I'm putting them either. It's just like oh, there's wet paint there, so I can draw into it. So let's try that. Oh, I've got rid of some of the blue in the background, so I'm going to add some more in using my pencil. Um, that, that's basically where my head was while I was doing this. So you're seeing it's taking a little bit longer to dry because I have put a fair amount of paint on it. It's still damp, but that's okay. Now going over my neon gloss um, droppers, inks, paints, and dropping them over the top. You'll notice when they go onto this, because they are on the wet or damp canvas, they are soaking in a little bit, and that's okay too. So where they're sitting on top of the acrylic paint that is sort of dried, you can see those really bright spikes, and you can see where it's sort of soaked in and, and wicked out a little bit. Um, but because everything's kind of wet, it was taking too long to dry and it was bugging me. So I just got my hands in it and just spread the paint out because I'm impatient like that. No, it's just how I work really. I then decided I wanted to put a little bit of black onto this to get a little bit of contrast and a little bit of depth to it. So just with a really fine um, fan brush, um, I just spritzed on some black into the background. Again, getting my hands in where it's not drying fast enough just to spread it out because that's how I was rolling this night. 
and when it really didn't dry fast enough I just got my paper towel and just soaked off the excess just so it was dry enough that I could do what I wanted to do next um, which was to stencil on here some words so I wanted to put the words heal on here now because um, I'm not very good at judging um, quotes and so on when I'm stenciling I started from the L and worked backwards just to make sure it all sort of fitted on um, to get it on obviously I chose a sort of sh a shortish word but this is the word I really wanted to focus on that I was healing myself um, by forcing myself into my studio by forcing myself to get my hands moving just to do something just to quiet my brain for a little bit and it's the reason why I write journal and I've, I know I've talked about this before it doesn't mean that you know something horrendous has happened it's just you know that you need to slow down you need to make some time for yourself you need to you know something is bothering you so here's some space that you can spend half an hour putting paint on a page not really thinking about it and give you a chance a, a brain a chance to actually work out what's bothering you um, and I need to do that I need to process that um, you know for me and I know other people do too so let me know your process below or I see if this works for you I don't know probably won't it, it may do um, you do what works for you so um, I wrote the world um, let your soul heal just to finish it off a little bit and I was trying my fancy cursive writing on this which was fun and um, writing with the paint pen on the canvas I really enjoy because it goes really splattery it sort of catches on the the texture of the material which I really love I know it really will bug some people but that really enjoys me uh, I really enjoy that you can sort of see the splatters around it I also added the word gently underneath because it doesn't happen overnight and you do need to be really gentle with yourself and that was a word that I really needed to add on for myself to remind myself that it was okay that it wasn't going to happen overnight but it would happen as the the famous advertisement goes so I say hope you have a go at mark making and making abstracts and just making marks in many ways on your page and I hope it brings you a sense of calm like it did to me that night until next time bye for now